So the last and final topic of the show I want to talk about is related to the Los Angeles Dodgers and Albert Pujols. So if you don't know already, the Dodgers, you know, recently signed Albert Pujols. Albert Pujols was released by the Los Angeles Angels. He's the former uh, first baseman for the for the St. Louis Cardinals. Obviously won a, won a lot of games and won multiple MVPs with the Cardinals. He was the best player in all of baseball for a good stretch with the Cardinals. Then he goes to L.A. with the Angels, gets a big-time contract. He hasn't aged as gracefully as some people would have thought, but he's he's done okay in L.A. But, you know, the thing is, the, the Angels released Albert Pujols because apparently he did not want to embrace a backup role, and that's what the Angels evaluated him as, you know, as a backup player, you know. And I understand it because at this point, in, at this point in Albert Pujols' career, he's 41 years old. He has his limitations. And he's not the same player that he once was. Okay, he's a liability out there on the field at times. Okay, especially defensively now. But see, Albert Pujols recently signed with the LA Dodgers, and if you don't know, the LA Dodgers they are a really stacked roster. Okay, and Albert Pujols is going to be taking on a backup role with the LA Dodgers. And you might think to yourself, well. If Albert Pujols didn't want to take on the backup role with the Angels, why does he want to take on a backup backup role with the Dodgers? Um, it's pretty simple. Albert Pujols knows he can win games with the Los Angeles Dodgers. See, it's one thing to be a backup with the Angels, but it's also another thing to be losing while in the process. Albert Pujols is saying to himself, if I'm going to be a backup, I might as well be competing for a World Series championship. And Albert Pujols has said multiple times, he still wants to win at a high level. So what are the Dodgers getting with Albert Pujols, okay? To me, what they're getting is a veteran presence in the locker room, a guy that has won a World Series in the past, and he's a guy that a lot of the young players on the roster can go to for advice. And if I'm a young player on that roster, I'm picking Albert Pujols' brain every chance I get because he's this legendary hitter. I believe he's a top 10 hitter of all time. He has the numbers. You know, he has somewhat of the longevity to prove that. You know, he's at his best, he was the best in all baseball for about a five-year stretch, okay? And I think that a lot of young players on that Dodgers roster can really benefit from Albert Pujols' insight, okay? And he's going to be an extra bat in that lineup that in high leverage moments, he can drive in runs. And I believe Albert Pools will be effective for the Los Angeles Dodgers come postseason time, assuming they make it there. I believe they will. And I know Albert Pools isn't quite what he once used to be. He is he is up there in age, but Albert Pools is a threat to do damage at the plate, no matter what situation it is. Okay, because he just has so much experience. He's seen so many, you know, pitches throughout his career. Like I said, he has that experience, and he's still a very, very smart, savvy hitter at this point in his career. So I think Albert Pujols signing with the Dodgers is good for baseball. It's good for Albert Pujols, and I think it's going to be a good signing for the Dodgers going forward. Um, this might be Albert Pujols' last year in Major League Baseball. He could retire very, very, very soon, especially if the Dodgers win a World Series. I don't see any reason why Albert Pools would return the next year. Um, but, hey, I could be wrong, but that's how I feel about Albert Pools signing with the Dodgers. It's a great uh, signing for the Dodgers. Not the most flashy signing, but it could be an effective one down the road. Albert Pools to the Dodgers was a very solid move, um, and I like the move for the Dodgers. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really, truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, 
I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.